Hello everybody, this is your boy, the Green Talons, the almighty Green Talons, intercepting a pass for the touchdown score and the extra point to be scored. So, you wonder what the extra point is? Well, I'm here to talk about one of the offensive linemen, offensive lines coach that, um, that have been getting a lot of attention lately, and his name is... It's Jeff Stoutman, or as you can say, Stout is what they call him. Um, this guy has been through three, yeah, three coaching changes. It started with Chip Kelly. From Chip Kelly to uh, 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 um, to the, the coach who won the Super Bowl, I can't think of his name off the bat, uh, um, Doug Peterson. Then Doug Peterson from Doug Peterson. To Nick Sirianni, they got been the three different coaching changes, but it was a long time ago though. After the firing of Doug Peterson, Stout wanted to go back to the college level. There was a rumor going on, and, and uh, I read about it back in some time ago before the new coaching staff was hired. And um, thank God the Eagles was able to retain his service because this guy is the number one offensive line coach in the NFL. And um, you got to think of all the coaches, all, all, the, all the, the players that he has coached. Or the entire offensive line started with um, Jason Peterson, who he, re, he reinvented Jason Peters' um, technique as far as blocking. Peterson was able to have, I think, seven more years with Jeff Stoutman. Seven more years before the Eagles decided to let him go. And you gotta look at um uh, 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 you gotta look at Jason Kelsey, um who also spent the last seven or eight years. So this will be the eighth year that he spent with um Jeff Dotton because now six seven years, eight nine ten he may be, he, he, um Kelsey been in the league going on twelve years I believe I, I think I think this is twelfth season. He spent a couple of years with um Andy Reid, then Chip Kelly from Chip Kelly. To Peterson, from Peterson to um, uh, um, Nick Sirianni, three years, two years with Nick Sirianni, uh, three years with Doug Peterson, three years with Chip Kelly, and and, and the, rest of the remaining years with with, with um, Andy Reid. So you got to look at the coaches that uh, that, that Dowling has been around, absent Doug, I mean, absent uh, uh, Andy Reid, or Andy Reid. Was gone way before Jeff Stoutman was brought aboard to be the new offensive line coach after P after um Andy Reid was fired back in oh back in 2012. Um, he left. I'm, I'm sorry. After, 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 yeah, after, after the 2012 season, Andy Reid was fired, and when Andy Reid was fired, Andy Reid, Andy Reid took half of that coaching staff with him to Kansas City. And so they told they told so the Eagles had to, had to rebuild the coaching staff from within when they brought in Chip Kelly as the new head coach. And Kelly brought in some coaches that was with him at the time, and then some coaches that 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 that's that no longer with him when he when he would depart when he when he left back in two thousand and after two thousand fifteen season. So you got to look at so Dalton with with Kelly for three years, and he with Doug Peterson from two thousand sixteen to two thousand and nineteen. So at 2019, oh no, I'm sorry, 18, 18. No, oh, hold on, hold on, 21, 20. Hold on, let me see. Let me, let me get back to the script before I go any further into, into specific details. Uh, the piece in 2020, 19, 18, 17. Okay, 17, 16. Okay, he was with the piece for five years. Let me get that correct. Five years. Uh, Chip Kelly with three years, and Nick Sirianni with um, Nick Sirianni one year, and now this is this, this, this be his second year on the on Nick Sirianni. So you could say he been in the league what five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine years in the league, nine years in the, in the NFL, and this would be his tenth year in the league with one team, and that is with um, Philadelphia Eagles. And this guy has done a lot for the entire for the entire offensive line. Yeah, yeah. Look at the guy that ever came and left here. Now he had some um, some issues with a few of them, 
who was bought in via free agency who who, who didn't do well. Um, some of them guys that won Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles when it when they were backup players. And some of them got no 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 on, on, on this roster. So you gotta look at Brandon Brooks who 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 bought who Brandon Brooks came in to do the you know, Chip Kelly era. Um then you gotta look at Brandon Brooks from Chip Kelly all the way down to Nick Seriani last year before he got hurt. You gotta look at um Nate Herbig, you gotta look at uh uh uh, uh let me see uh, Lane Johnson, Lane Johnson had been with Chip, had been, been in the league with Chip Kelly, uh, Peterson, and now Nick Sirianni. So then you gotta look at him. Then you gotta look at Salamalu, um, who been in the league seven years. He been, he was drafted by, um, by Chip Kelly and Chip Kelly last year, all the way down to, uh, all the way down to now. So you gotta look at all the, all, all the offensive line players that have came and left the Philadelphia Eagles. Doing a doing um Jeff Dobbin tension with the team, and so um, which brings me on on to this specific point. Since Jeff Dobbin is the is the number one offensive line coach in the NFL, why isn't he making more money? And that's a question that we all need need to be wondering about at the time, because the super fact is um. He has done an excellent job, and you gotta look at the guys who have been who have been to the Pro Bowl in intention. You know what I'm saying? He had at least five, at least three or four or five guys in in the years he's been here with the Philadelphia Eagles. He have had several guys that have gone to the Pro Bowl and became all pros. Um, so you gotta look at all of that. You know what I'm saying? And so with with Jason, I mean, with um Jason Mylotta, who became the star last year. And this year he's expected to be an All Pro Pro Bowl this year because the Eagles got one of the best left left side of the offensive line in the NFL, along with Kelsey, Salamalu, and Lane. So that right there in itself should give you some specific ideas as the reason why Dallas need to be the, the high paid offensive line coach in the NFL. I hope the Eagles give him some rest, some recognition this year because I mean everybody. Every, every every team in the NFL has taken notice to Jeff Stoutland's tenure and teaching of offensive line. You got to look at this way. The guy came from Alabama. I mean, he had no NFL experience. I mean, he was at University of Alabama. He he, he coached with Nick Seri, Nick Nick Saban, who he had. I think I think I think I think he had two national championships with Nick Saban, and he has one ring with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at all that. The man has had the man had the man has a very impressive resume. I think he got one ring, maybe two rings at the college level, I believe. I think it's two. Don't quote me on that, but after I think it's two, I could be wrong on that. But I do know he do have a ring or two with University of Alabama before he came to the NFL level. And and and, and, and anyway, in that course of him being in Alabama, he, he was highly recognized anyway because the guy had at least five or six offensive line players Bought from the college level to the NFL, so you look at all the players that all the offensive line that have gone all over the NFL, not just with the Eagles, all over, all, all over, the, all, all over the NFL. So he has quite a few players at the offensive line level that has coached that hadn't gone to NFL stardom. So the guy is one of the best in the NFL. I mean, there, there's, no, there's no question about it. he's the best offensive line coach in the NFL. He's number one because. There's nobody like him. It used to be at one point. It used to be. Um, let me see. What, what that what the dude name? Uh, he he worked. He worked with the Raiders. He was the offensive line coach with the Raiders. I can't think of the name off the bat. But at one point, he was the he was the number one offensive line coach in the NFL. But now Jeff Dutton has, has taken over that ranks, and he's been number one for the past three years now in the, at the NFL level because he had done an excellent job at coaching offensive lines, and. Um, I feel the Eagles need to re-sign him, give, give him a, a, a longer contract, give him a high, make him the highest paid offensive line coach in the NFL. And the reason why I say that is because I feel at some point in time, some team ain't gonna make a ain't gonna make a play for Jeff Stein to become head coach. I mean, don't get me wrong, um, to see him go would be a blow. 
to the um to the Eagles coaching staff, but he's the longest he's he the longest tenure coach now at for the Philadelphia Eagles. You gotta look at all the like I said, the coaches that have came, Chip Kelly, Doug Peterson, and now Nick Seriani. They got him been through three different coaching tenures, and he's the longest tenure coach because you gotta look at the coach that Adam came and that that was here. Dude Staley, uh, 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 I forgot the um uh, the the uh special team coach. So some of them guys have gone to other teams. Now he's a he's the longest tenure coach now in the in, at, in not in the NFL but longest tenure coach with the Philadelphia Eagles, and that's saying something. That, 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 that that's very very impressive. The guy has a very impressive resume. You can Google him if you like. You will find him as a very intelligent offensive line coach and had and and, and had a has a very impressive resume. Not just winning championships, but for winning, but for teaching offensive lines. And the guy has coached centers. He don't coach offensive tackles. He had coached offensive guards. You name it, he has done it. At the at the highest level, the highest level in the NFL, everybody knows, everybody don't know the NFL at the highest level. Everybody knows that even the USFL and you got the cards at the CFL, all these, and even the college level, they all know the NFL at the highest level, at the highest degree. And once you get to the NFL and, and you play so many years at the NFL level, it's time for you to call it a career. Either you a Hall of Famer or you are in your your football team's ring of fame, however you want to put it. That's at the highest level in the NFL, and Jeff Stoddard has coached the highest in the NFL. The guy been been in the league over over six years, and coached with three different coaches. What more can you say? You know what I'm saying? So, I hope in the near future that the Eagles give Jeff Stoddard a new deal, make him the highest paid offensive line coach in the league, and if any team make a play. For Jeff Stoutland, the Eagles can command probably, probably um two first round picks. I think because um the last coach to get traded, if you guys remember, it was uh, uh, uh um I forgot his name. Uh, he he coached Tampa Bay, um but he also coached the Raiders. He left the Raiders. The, the Raiders traded him to Tampa Bay for two first round picks. And um, I can't think of a name off the back. He he coached the right back here this past season, but he was fired. He was let go because of because of his racial comments he said against one of the um uh, um one of the executives at the at the NFL offices. You know, I forgot the guy's name. Um, his name had been mentioned in quite some time. But um, anyway, he was traded from Tampa. He traded from from from, from the Raiders to Tampa Bay for two first round picks, and he and he was under contract then. It may be different for his coaches and for his high for his head coach and offensive line, but if you pay an, an offensive line coach like a head coach, like give him what eight, maybe maybe five, six, seven, seven million a season. If you give him that type of contract, if a team make a play for him, the Eagles have the right to deny or have the right for two first round draft picks. That's how that works. In the NFL level, like I said, I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I feel I need I need to make a video based on Jeff Stanley because I feel that he deserves some recognition. He, he deserves some uh, uh, um some play for the super factor what he has done for the Philadelphia Eagles. Like I said, this man has got one or two championship rings at the college level, and he has won with the Philadelphia Eagles. So he has done a marvelous job, a successful job. A great job, a splendid job, um, and most importantly, he has done an awesome job. So I feel he deserves a new contract. I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how much he's getting paid now, but I know it, 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 it's a million dollars or less. I know that much. He 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 need, he he need to be making three, four, five million a season, in my opinion, because he deserves it. In just my opinion, you know what I'm saying. But to see him go to, to another team. Will be a detrimental not only to, not only to the Philadelphia Eagles, but to the coaching staff and to the offensive linemen who have coached under Stoutland for many many years. You know what I'm saying? So this is your boy, the Green, the Almighty Green Talons. Um, you guys, please comment, like, share, subscribe. It's very important and most important. Come in the comment section below. 
notification bell on top. So why don't you put notification bell? Uh, when, when I make a video come direct from me for you, um, wow. I mean, I'm I'm definitely amazed that Dalton has lasted this long with the Philadelphia Eagles. I am I am I am so I am over amazed. You know what I'm saying? Because um, Simone has talked about Jeff Dalton and a lot of the other um, Eagles content creators as, as well. So I feel that I need to make up this long video on him because he deserved the recognition given. And um, like I said, a lot of NFL teams ha has already noticed that they, they take notice to him. They really have. And it wouldn't surprise me none if, if some coaches get fired this offseason. I, I, I think 2022 season come to an end. Jeff Thad might get some look. You know what I'm saying? He might get a look as a possible head coach for a team. So... If the Eagles don't get this man a new contract after this year or during this before the season even comes to be, it's gonna be a big, big blow. And to see him go, it's definitely gonna hurt. And then we gotta find another offensive line coach that's better, if not even better, than Jeff Dowling. But anyway, wow. So this is your boy, the Almighty Green Talons, once again, and it's something the past. Uh, for a touchdown and for the extra point given to make it seven. This is your boy. Like I said before, comment in the comment section below. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And you guys have a good Thursday afternoon or good Thursday night, however you want to put it. But Jeff Stalin, to see you go will be a blow. And that's the truth. That's definitely the truth. Holler at your boy, y'all. Peace out.